Amid purges in Russia's defense ministry, generals close to former head Sergei Shoigu have begun informing on each other to the FSB in hopes of leniency, Russian news outlet Commerçant reported, citing its own sources among law enforcers. Military counterintelligence has reportedly detained Major General Alexander Oglobin, who previously headed the first directorate of the main communications directorate of the Russian armed forces. The arrest was prompted by testimony from his former superior, Deputy Chief of the Russian General Staff, Lieutenant General Vadim Shamarin, who is accused of receiving kickbacks from the Perm telephone plant Telta during the procurement of special communications equipment for the needs of the Russian Defense Ministry. According to Shamarin, he ultimately split the bribe received from the company with Oglobin, a fact he decided to disclose as part of a plea deal with investigators. It is possible that Shamarin also sought revenge against his former subordinate as Oglobin had testified against him in the Telta case while Shamarin was only a witness. As Commerçant has learned, the former head of the first directorate of the main communications directorate of the Russian armed forces, Alexander Oglobin, was arrested again thanks to a plea bargain concluded with another general. According to Commerçant, 58-year-old Alexander Oglobin was detained by officers of the FSB Military Counterintelligence Department. This happened after Deputy Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Armed Forces, Chief of the Main Communications Directorate of the Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Vadim Shamarin, testified against him as part of a pre-trial agreement. According to the Main Military Investigative Department of the Investigative Committee of the Russian Federation, from April 2016 to October 2023, the latter received bribes in the amount of at least 36 million rubles from the CEO of Perm Telephone Plant Telta, OJSC, Alexei Vysakov, and the plant's chief accountant, Elena Grishina, for actions within his authority aimed at increasing the volume and range of products of Perm Telephone Plant Telta, OJSC, as well as for general patronage in the service. According to some sources, Alexander Oglobin was the first to testify against General Shamarin. At the same time, he himself, together with his brother, also a former military man, Alexei Oglobin, initially appeared in this case as a witness. However, Alexander was exposed as an intermediary in the transfer of bribes to his boss, while his relative, according to Commerçant, remained a witness. Although Shoigu's name has not yet appeared in the corruption cases against Russian generals, it is possible that someone among them will eventually implicate him. Kamala Harris promised Tuesday to put country above party and above self in the closing argument of her presidential campaign, delivering her message from the same site where Donald Trump fomented the Capitol insurrection to emphasize the sharp choice voters face. One week out from Election Day, the vice president used the address from the grassy ellipse near the White House to pledge to Americans that she would work to improve their lives while arguing that her Republican opponent is only in it for himself. Unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy, Harris said. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at my table. And I pledge to be a president for all Americans. To always put country above party and above self. The vice president also pledged to restore the abortion rights that were overturned by the Supreme Court in 2022. I will fight to restore what Donald Trump and his hand-selected Supreme Court justice took away from the women of America," Harris said. The Supreme Court, with three Trump appointees justices, overturned federal protections of abortion in 2022. Abortion has since become one of the most motivating issues for the Democratic base in the 2024 election. But I know that many of you are still getting to know who I am. America. We know what Donald Trump has in mind. More chaos, more division, and policies that help those at the very top and hurt everyone else. I offer a different path, and I ask for your vote. And here is my pledge to you. I pledge to seek common ground 
and common sense solutions to make your life better. I am not looking to score political points. I am looking to make progress. I pledge to listen to experts, to those who will be impacted by the decisions I make, and to people who disagree with me. Unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at the table. I pledge to you to approach my work with the joy and optimism that comes from making a difference in people's lives. And I pledge to be a president for all Americans. And to always put country above party and self.